Hi, this is Troy Lewis, lead pastor of Steamboat Christian Center, and this is Vision Moments, an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to our vision to love God and to love people. Can't wait for you to hear today's episode. Hey guys, I'm Joanna, and I'm a leader with Young Adults and the Hype here at SCC. These vision moments are inspirational video casts that provide vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to SCC staff and leadership and engaged in our vision to love God and love people. I had a youth pastor growing up who would encourage us to think about the kingdom of heaven on a regular basis. If we were on a long van ride with the youth group, he would pick a random object and have us think about how that object relates to the kingdom of heaven, how it points to God. So many ordinary and overlooked things point to God in this world, and they teach us about him. I still play this game sometimes when I'm bored. You see, I'm a thinker through and through. It's how God made me, and it's often how I spend time with him. I feel like I learn more and more about his character, and the more I know God, the more I'm transformed into his likeness, reflecting him clearer. Um, that makes me sound kind of altruistic, so let me also say I watch Netflix quite a bit, and I recently, my husband and I, watched The Queen's Gambit. It's about a chess prodigy, her coming of age and successes and failures while she rises in the world of chess. After watching this show, all I wanted to do was play chess. I nerded out. I downloaded an app on my phone. I started Googling different strategies, YouTube tutorials, and I even got a chess set for Christmas. Chess has definitely been on my mind. Well, one day I was bored and journaling, and I started thinking, how is chess like the kingdom of heaven? And let me tell you, the connections still blow me away. Here's what I realized about chess. Each chess piece can only move a certain way. Bishops only move on the diagonal. Pawns move one or two squares just straight forward. Knights jump in an L-shaped pattern. And any of these pieces can be useful to attack, protect, or set up other pieces and strategies for future moves. Each piece has a unique movement and utility, just like the body of Christ. You and I have a unique purpose and gifts that are valued and utilized in the kingdom of heaven. That variety is so important for spreading the gospel, loving God, and loving others. 1 Corinthians 12 talks about how the body of Christ is made of many members with different gifts and roles. Verse 18 says, But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. Individually, you and I have a place in the kingdom and are so valuable to God, more than we can understand. We're also vulnerable alone. In chess, the queen is the most versatile piece on the board, but you can't win a game with just the queen. Chess strategy is all about getting pieces to work together. When you let the pieces work together, you can dominate the game. When we work together and care for each other as the body of Christ, um, the chapter says that if one part suffers, every part suffer suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. We're meant to serve God together. That's how to dominate the, the mission to love God and love people. Another realization I had was that God is the player and I am the piece. My number one job is to be obedient and trust him. God is the grand master. He's thinking infinite moves ahead with a full view of the board. He knows the enemy and how to defeat him. He's already won. I think of myself as a little pawn on the board. I move slowly and I can only see what's right in front of me. And sometimes it's really scary. But a single pawn can take any other piece on the board and be extremely powerful in the right position. I've got to remember to stop trying to take control, keep my eyes on God and obey when he tells me to move or when he tells me to stay. Proverbs 3 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. If you're like me, you've heard this verse pretty much your whole life and probably went into robot mode 
So let me read this again to let it sink in. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. It's a well-known verse, but so hard to put into practice, for me at least. My challenge for you today is to jump into the chessboard, like that Harry Potter scene in the first movie. Think about your chess piece. Where has God placed you? What role are you playing for the kingdom right now? Are you encouraging? Are you praying? Or fill in the blank, what role are you playing? Because each role is so helpful to us all. How is he directing you to love him and love people? Do you trust him with all your heart? Let's pray. God, we love you and we are so blessed to be loved by you. Lord, teach us how valuable we are to you and show us how to work together for your kingdom. May all of our actions reflect you in your goodness and in your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.